Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the British royal family, and today I'll be talking about how the royals are at loggerheads with regard to the upcoming coronation, Harry and Meghan's laid out terms, and now Camilla's terms, and also the very concerning and disturbing way Meghan is portraying herself lately. Watch to the end for that segment, you really won't want to miss that. Here are the list of demands, I mean terms, from Harry and Meghan regarding the coronation. 1. They want to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony. 2. They want their security to be adequately covered. 3. They want Archie's birthday to be recognised. And 4. They want to stay with Eugenie and Jack at Frogmore Cottage, which I thought was empty. There's a lot wrong with those demands. They are not working royals, so no reason to be on the balcony. Also, after the things that have been said, Catherine and William need to be well away from them. And also, when someone is being crowned the monarch, you don't break away from the proceedings to sing happy birthday to a child, whoever he is, or are they expecting a joint after party? Let's not forget that Harry is still in an ongoing legal battle to try and get what he deems as adequate security when in the UK. After his Taliban comments, he has put everyone at risk on that day, so best for him to stay away rather than demand extra security. Anyway, surely they would be under a general security covering the whole royal family if they're all together on that day. So what's the problem? No one is even bothered about them being there anyway. Apparently Camilla is being criticised for allegedly being a demanding diva regarding the coronation. I think that maybe she's just being assertive because I've been told that she and Charles are disagreeing about every single aspect of the coronation, even down to what he will wear. It seems to me that maybe he would need some sort of guidance regarding decision making, especially something so stressful. And also, isn't that what married couples do anyway when there's some big event coming up? It's like the focus has been put on Camilla being a diva when there's only one diva in that family, and somehow I think that information might be coming from that certain source. Also, the same news source is putting it out there that Catherine and Camilla are at loggerheads because Camilla wants to be heard. I doubt this very much. Camilla and Catherine get on really well, and I think this is coming again from the one true destructive element in the family. It's like she wants to make the family look as though they are bickering and falling out over every little thing, when she is seething with jealousy over the fact that they are senior working royals, and she blew it. It's quite simple. Camilla does not want Harry and Meghan there. That's what any arguing or disagreement is about, and who can blame her after Harry labelled her dangerous in his book. It's Meghan and Harry who are dangerous. Camilla knows this, doesn't want them there during her husband's most important day of his life, and who can blame her for feeling like this? I would think that Camilla and Catherine would be completely united on this. Prince William is concerned about his father's health and the effect that all this is having on him, and it's allegedly an ongoing thing, the subject of King Charles's ill health and the effect that Harry and his wife are having on it. Here we go again. First of all, it was the Queen whose health was being affected by mostly Meghan, but Meghan and Harry, and now it's the King. One interesting thought is that they might actually be genuinely skint, in other words, completely broke right now, because I understand that they had many millions in the Silicon Valley Bank, which has just gone into receivership. Apparently, Oprah had a lot of money in there as well. Let's hope they didn't have all their eggs in one basket, but I imagine they won't be happy about losing so much money. Even more reason to come to the UK to sweet-talk his father, the King, into another handout. The thing which I've noticed recently about Meghan, which I found to be concerning, is the fact that she appears to have quite significant bruising on the back of her hand and also on her forehead. Some were saying that she looks as though she's punched something because of the bruising on her hand, but that wouldn't explain her forehead. I doubt that she's been punching herself. 
This was noticeable in the photos of her trip out to lunch in California recently. It looks like makeup to me. It looks intentional, as if trying to create realistic bruises, especially the one on her forehead. Why do you think she would want to do this? I have my own thoughts and I hope I'm not right. Could it be part of a plan to set up Harry? Or did she actually walk into a door or smudge her makeup? But another thing also is concerning. Has she intentionally chosen a driver who looks like Henri Paul, the driver of the car in which the late Princess Diana was killed? Look at these photos. It's unmistakable. I doubt it's a coincidence. The bone structure, the features, the hair, even the glasses look the same. Has she interviewed dozens of drivers to get someone who looks identical to Henri Paul or has she simply photoshopped his face into this picture? Either way, it's pretty sinister stuff. Is it just me? Am I reading too much into this? Or is it really obvious to you guys? It also reminds me of the Netflix video. And I did do a previous video on this. I'll put a link in the description. This video was a drama whereby Megan was in a scene dying in a car crash Harry comes to rescue her and she sort of morphs into Princess Diana. What do you guys think about this? I would love your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.